Good morning. Welcome back to Neil and Jan's reselling. And back to the boot sale. Back to the boot sale. After um, a look, what feels like a really, really long break. Arding Lies Showgrounds first car boot sale of the year. Yeah, it's a filthy weather, um, but it's undercover, so it shouldn't be I too I don't bad. know how, how good it will be or how bad it will be. Um, but hopefully there'll be some people, so let's yeah, go Yeah, and they look. were doing free to sellers today to encourage lots of people to come along and... Um, so let's go and have a look at some footage and uh, see you in a bit. No, that's right. Morning. That's right. Good. 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 Two. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Yeah. We've just played this guy. Yeah, well, well, you've got to try. <laughs> yeah, you see you're we'll just get you there for this. Just a quick scam here, trying to get us to pay twice. I can see you're one way. <laughs> As you can see, this is quite a nice big uh, indoor venue. This is actually much bigger. This is better. The, it's like a sandy kind of floor. It's just giving off like a yellowy kind of thing. But uh, but anyway, here we are. Our first car boot sale of 2022. <laughs> They're big old wellies, aren't they? Oh, yeah. You've got your, should we touch your coffee? It's, yeah. yeah. It doesn't matter. I don't need to correct you. Yeah, this is There's a coffee maker there. Coffee machine. Oh, is that, is that a general? This is There's a small It's not 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 a small Oh, and a metal detector. Oh. Hello. Hi. What kind of price are you looking at the metal detector? Sorry? What kind of price are you looking at on the metal detector? Um. We paid 180 for it a year. Oh ago. right, it's quite expensive. One. 30 quid, and it's got all the instructions. Four it times the it's on. Been, and I'll look like that. And it's, um, it's got headphones with it. It's got the bag with it. It's got like a little fold-up trowel with it. But literally, you took it down shore in one day, and like the the uh, phase was over, sort of being sent by the tolls and stuff. Got that right. Uh, all right. People. But it is a good one. It's, it's yeah. one that. Uh, yeah, we, the wife sort of bought it for me and the son for some reason. Yeah. And I took him out of it and he wasn't that bothered, but yeah, it's not a um, cheap one. Yeah. So how much did you say? 30 quid. Yeah. Uh, 25. Yeah, right. right. So this is good. Anyway. There you are, buddy. Lovely. Thank you very Enjoy. much. Enjoy. Cheers. All Thank right, you. good stuff. So, Nat, how much are you looking for on the uh, PlayStation? Um, for, for everything, it was £50. Um, I was going to another channel, yeah. I thought it was just for Christmas for £50 with one controller and that, and then I ended up getting him another controller and buying all the games, so I think £50 for a whole lot. 45 for you, as you're a regular. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I've only just sold a load, but it just yeah, depends right, how yeah. much people are selling for. for uh, if you don't get what you're looking for here, you know there's a shop in town in Crawley that will buy them from you. That will this buy consoles. The next thing, so he's got a PlayStation 4 now. I was thinking if CX. you don't sell it today, yeah, give the whole lot to them and get some games for it. Yeah. Oh, look, there it is. Yeah, Uh, 
It's a nice big clock if someone wants to put it on a wall. about 14 I was into fish tanks had one next to my bed really good but no I've got four dogs there they're enough work for me So as usual, it's uh, it's a case of um, there's lots of stuff here. It's it's whether it's the kind of stuff you know about what kind of value it would resell for. And, um, and are you picking it up at the right price uh, also you know for selling on eBay and stuff you might see something that you think has value but it's a case of how long will it take you to flip it from buying it to flipping it so uh, it's quite an important thing if you don't want to have lots and lots of stuff um, that isn't selling quickly How much your DVDs? Uh, As you can see, there's quite a few people here. Um, for uh, a wintry kind of boot sale. Clothing and there was, cam there was a little box with a camera, uh, a little blue box back on the other table. These obviously haven't set up yet. Interesting red thing on it. I don't know if it's a sleeping bag or something on the car there. Maybe it's for kids. But uh, uh, another um, 
older style kind of Bosch coffee machine there. Oh, I think that's a Tassimo machine. Um, it's got quite a nice large size of teddy back there, but uh, obviously I'm not looking to uh, really buy teddies. Even, even the um, I've forgotten what they're called now. The um, I forget the name of the store where um, where they make lots of different teddies and stuff. But. Is it Bear Factory or something? Anyway, I forget. of records. There's an old typewriter there. That that probably would sell for reasonable money if you got it for a good price. But again with that it's uh, I don't know the prices that well and um, also it's quite big as well. Saying that having just bought a metal detector which is which is pretty big. Um, however, the metal detector, you know, uh, I was hoping it should go for quite a good price. Um, also got a child carrying rucksack there, a uh, blue one just on that table. Again, it's the size at the moment and uh, this early in the year I don't think it's going to sell that quickly. Uh, it will be a case of having the funds to uh, hold on to that until the warmer weather. Blades. Another time, if I had more funds, I pro probably would have gone for the roller blades, um, even though they are they were reasonably reasonably cheap looking. Uh, it was just the, the shine on the plastic wasn't that kind of wasn't what I would consider, you know, quality. Um, just not quite what I'm looking for. Reselling. It's the thing when you go around that there's lots of things that you could get, but it's trying to pick those quality items. Um, little camera there. I think that was a, I think that was like a, a, a disc film that they used to have in those. stuff No. 
Lost little, uh, two little pairs of roller boots there. Um, looks like they must have been twins. You had them? Oh, and here, here is the first. 3, 3D printer that I've seen at a car boot sale. Now I do know that a lot of 3D printers... Hi there. Oh. I'm not actually wanting to buy it, but I'm just interested how much you're asking for the 3D printer. I'm a 50 quid, mate. It, yeah. That was mine. I bought it. I bought it on Christmas. I bought four printers. Right. Yeah. I bought uh, a massive one. Which you stand by that floor. Yeah. And I bought two liquid ones. Right. And the massive one, I can't get the angle of it because it's filament. I, I just can't cope with the filament. Yeah. I, but the, res, the UV resin ones, perfect. I, I right. don't have no problems. So I've. Um, this is the first one I've ever seen at a car boot sale. That's why I was asking. Yeah, it's fifty quid. Um, I paid hundred and just over hundred quid for that. Yeah. Christmas. I've done about a print on it. I just know that they're I. It, I've always wanted a 3D printer, but I also know how temperamental they are to get things right to the quality you want on some of them. The main trick so, is the main trick is making sure they're level. Yeah. You've got to have everything complete, complete level to base. Yeah. If I, it's I, fraction out, it won't stick. I know even that it's to do on some of it's to do with uh, is it the right filament for what you're trying it's to do? Uh, yeah, but you've got all different filaments for what uh, you're trying P, to make and all PLA that kind of filament stuff. You use. So, PLA filament, use that, yeah. don't have any problems. Brilliant. Anyway, well, I wish you luck on that. Yeah. So, uh, cool. Yeah, so it's the first one I've ever seen in a car boot sale. Well, I'm hoping it goes. Yeah. If not, eBay it. <laughs> Mate, I can't be asked for eBay. Good morning, young sir. That's a nice old little box of Meccano. So the smell of it, that's a thin suit right here. That's a little cold um. I bought those because it was, I was just intrigued with yeah, the yeah. Admiral Clutter We started out as a we started out as a Admiral Clutter Excuse me, what kind of price should I put it on the scope? Um, eight, eight quid. All right, I'll leave that. <laughs> Yes, you are annoyed. Yes. Give me an age, she's a 17 months old. Oh, very people oriented. Yes, 
What, what, kind of price, what kind of price are you looking at? Oh, you're not up to that tassel. 15 quid. You have a little look for them, aren't they? really are, because usually they're pretty cruddy, the beach rifle. If you Googled it, this this range, very, very good. I mean, you've got a capsule, you still got a Yeah, it's good quality. They, they are yeah. So it's good quality, but they were fifteen pounds. Um, but they were boots, and um, I, I don't think for resale that fifteen pounds for a pair of binoculars, for the, a boots brand, are particularly going to. I don't know that I'd get my money back. Pipe weight there was ceramic, not glass. It's always worth just having a look through boxes. You never know what's hiding down the bottom of a box. Like this camera. I left the camera, it it was really dinged up, as though it had just been thrown in a box like that. Um, nice little amp on a wheel uh, for the guitars, but obviously um, the size of them, uh, I don't know if they would sell if they're a good brand. Nice little paperweight in the box there, but that's probably quite a lot. Don't know what. Not sure if that was branded or not. Cave Nest or something. Sorry, I think I'm going to the car very close. Big box of wires down there. After a pound an item from that box. I'm not saying that they're not worth it because if you sort through them they are. But well, handheld Dyson's down there. Looks like some cutting blades there for uh, a food blend, a food mixer. Oh, there's a wee fit board there.
Hiya, how's it going? Yeah, good, you? Yeah, good. Much business today? You like your hot sauce? Um, no, I'm a bit, I'm a bit worse, really. <laughs> <laughs> we got, we got more stuff as well. <laughs> are you local? You local, aren't you? Uh, leatherhead. Uh, leatherhead. Excellent. You got a website? Yeah, trueproject.co.uk. Excellent. <laughs> I'll be on YouTube this week. Uh, excellent. <laughs> Take care. Cheers. Huh? How much are you looking for the rucksacky thing? The blue rucksack? Fifteen pounds. Fifteen pounds. Twelve pounds. Oh, is it? Twelve pounds. Oh, right. Fifteen pounds. Where should you get a sale on the on the PlayStation? Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, yeah Excellent. Yeah. Well yeah. done. Four for the fifty. Four for five. That's not bad. Yeah, it's yeah, pretty yeah, good. Yeah. yeah. So I go around. I'm 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 just a reseller. Oh, right, right. So um, so I buy things at boot sales and resell them. Yeah, good on you. Uh, yeah, that's why you do it. Uh, just before Christmas, I had about six or seven PlayStations. Yeah. So, oh, but I, I I pick them up for preferably under twenty quid. Yeah, yeah. And you and sometimes you can get stuff like that for under twenty quid and yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's only if people don't really know what they're worth. I mean, a lot of those things like they're so old. Yeah. But people do still want them. Yeah, that's the thing. So yeah. uh, well, there's a big gap between the PlayStation Three and Four now. I think for what you paid like forty five for all that. Stuff. Yeah. Um, whereas PlayStation Four. Well, if you if you're ever looking around. The, uh, if you want to, if you want to buy something to make some money, yeah. uh, 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 the one to look for is the old style PlayStation Three that has the connection for the three year uh, 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 for the four controllers along the front because they're backwards compatible. They play games one, two, and three, ah, and they can be worth well over a hundred quid. And if you can pick them up for twenty or thirty, they're yeah, worth picking they're up. So, but I know you're only selling, but it's kind of if you do see if you if if you see if you see those old ones that can take the four controllers long front, they're then yeah. they're worth getting. So, but yeah, good stuff. Anyway. Cheers. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
and walk. What's like this? Wow, I'm just sitting there that like, oh, okay. What's that? I'm just seeing what you're doing with that. Nice. Yeah, it's from my YouTube channel. Oh, wow. Uh, so it's, it, it's Neil and Jan Resellers. Okay. Um, we have a, a channel all about going to car boot sales, getting bargains, oh, and stuff like that. So, so, uh, you so. get a lot of followers on that. Well, we've been doing it about nine months. We've got about 300 at the moment, but it's, uh, it's building. Doing it now, yeah. yeah. That's really good. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That's what to do with YouTube. So I'm just filming for YouTube. So, which is really good, obviously, because um, uh, when we put on about this boot sale, then more people will start to know that this boot sale is yeah. nice, is, is, is up and running. This is now normal stuff. Then we sell all dog stuff. All oh, right. But uh, this is like a house clearance, and we're doing it for a friend for him. Cool. So, but I couldn't get it all in the car, so I had to just do it. So you're going to have to get a yeah. van, but then it costs yeah. more, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah you've got to really uh, yeah, yeah, so. Yeah, because we cool. And we're looking at all the dogs a lot. Have you got a website and stuff like that? I'm getting that all up and down there. Because what we was going to do. So you got to get your website up so I people can find it, and then then it'll be on YouTube. Yeah. Then what we was going to do two years ago, it all died. It would. So yeah. We basically, got to start kickstart ourselves. All well, up this here. is this is why I do what I, I used to be a heating engineer, but oh, wow. I I am not well enough to do that kind of thing anymore. Oh. So now all I do is buy and sell a, a, a boot sales and resell on eBay. Yeah. Yeah, that's the so, one. So. So. You just have to look out for bargains. <laughs> anyway, hope you have a good morning. Thank you. Now you've got some nice binoculars there, um, that in, in, in nice cases, but the thing is, on, on the price... What are you looking at on the binoculars? Um, I'll, ask I'll, I'll come down to eight. Yeah, I'll take five more They may only sell for 15, 16 quid, um, which is not that much profit. Um, if you, I'll leave those. Uh, some people will sell them for like a fiver. If it was a fiver, I would go for it. Yes. But you've got to ask what it is anyway. So uh, I left them. Right. So we swapped over to uh, this is Jan's cam now, uh, and uh, let's have a look. See what uh, what Jan has a look at. What she's spying at this uh, boot sale. Oh, there's me. Oh, what? 
I'm going to keep going around, okay? Yeah. It's all very civilised, isn't yes, it, it, inside? Is. <laughs> Not drier, that's for sure, and warmer. And even sand rather than mud. <laughs> Absolutely, I mean, there's a little bit of a puddle towards the other end, but nothing, I mean, it's only literally. Yeah. Yeah, if you get the push jet through, fine, so no bother there. Good luck, hope you have a good day. Oh, I've only 
Sorry, can I get by, please? Thank you. Oh, oh hello. Do you have any change? I have some. Yep. I'm so sorry. I came out with literally just went to the cash point. I've got. A... One of those. Lovely. And... Brilliant. Thank Great. you very much. Thank you.
Fit into a oh, um, ready, ready to install.
Ben ayar mutlu olacak mı arkadaşlar? Thank you. 
near this end. Save the number on you.
childhood. Oh yeah, yeah. Coats and jackets, two pounds. The rest of the clothes are a pound. There you go. So, I uh, hope you've enjoyed watching Jan and myself uh, go around this uh, car boot sale, our first car boot sale of the year at the South of England Showground. And, um, if you've seen anything that you think, oh, you should have picked that up, um, let us know what what items it is that we should have picked up and what you think they would sell for. Um, also, um, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing to the channel. There will, will be lots more films this year. And uh, Jan and I look forward to uh, uh, to meeting up with some of you who uh, are in our local area, our local local car boot sales. Uh, met some really great people last year. I uh, look forward to the same this year. And uh, catch you guys on the next one.